What is your name? Why are you here? You talk, you talk. It's my choice. Yeah. Are you a sex seller? You be talk properly. Are you a sex seller? Okay. Don't you know that you are spoiling this country? Don't you know that you are spoiling men and women of this country? Are you sick? Before we take you for examination, are you infected? You don't know. You don't know. But plus, I need this work. I use condoms. You are using. So that is the work you are doing there. How many of you? How many of you are there? They are all ladies running away. There they are selling drugs. How much? How much are you causing people? How much are you charging people for your work? Huh? You talk. One thousand, five thousand, so on. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. How many persons? How many persons can you? Per day. Sometimes we don't get. Are you renting that place from somebody? How many years? This one. How many years? How many years you have in this one? Three, but not in the same place. How many? Are three years. Yeah, but not at that same place. Yes, last year. Yeah, where? Which place is <laughs> Asalo and uh, Sidumal the owner the of that place? place. Uh, no, no, the place so, so what is important here? She has confessed that she is a sex seller. Two, that she has been professional in this work in South Sudan for more than three years. In different places. In different places. Three, that they are using 500, 800, 1000 uh, for anybody who want to go through mm -hmm. this activity, and sometimes 5000. And they say their work is to get customers and they do it. And they say they are using condoms. And that she does not know whether she is sick or she is not sick. Huh? Three years, you have not gone to check up. But sometimes they bring check up even up to here. Do you know the owner of the place? Yeah, but he doesn't stay here. Doesn't he stay here? Ted Wukan. Ted Wukan. And then the Katim Kulu, how it happened. Come on, guess you do, Anna. Talata room.